Welcome to Mac Pro Video's tutorial on Native Instruments amazing sound shaping tool, Absynth. Absynth is not only a unique synthesizer, it's also an incredibly powerful effects tool. Absynth's journey began in 2001 when Native Instruments acquired the product from a company called Rhizomatic. From its very beginning, Absynth was a unique software synthesizer featuring a semi-modular architecture, incredible wave shaping capabilities, waveform drawing, and envelopes with up to 68 different steps. Absinthe produced sounds that had never been heard before. Then in 2003 with Absinthe 2, you could now lock your envelopes and rhythmic effects to tempo. You could copy envelopes and oscillators, and you could use samples as part of your oscillators. By 2005, Absinthe 3 was really becoming a robust product. It had a new look, a new single window interface, it had surround support, and it had the capability of processing live input. In 2007, Absinthe 4 was introduced. In addition to a brand new browser, Absinthe 4 added expanded effects, a macro control page that lets you assign MIDI controllers to just about any parameter, and wave morphing, the ability to blend two different waveforms together and control that in real time. And then in 2009, Absinthe 5, an improved user interface, the incredible mutator that lets you generate your own sounds very easily, the etherizer, a crazy grain effect, and feedback on just about everything. So it's been 10 years of Absinthe, 10 years of this amazing sound shaping and effects tool. And in this course, we're going to learn all the ins and outs of the product. We're going to learn how to create a sound and effect, beginning with oscillators, going through waveform creation, envelopes, and ending with effects. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's get started.